here we go guys welcome back to my channel let's go to an estate sale together i went to this estate sale on my lunch break so i only had an hour to shop and i kind of hate going i love going on my lunch break but i'm also um, very limited on time so i have to get back to work fast and i don't have time to really look through it, much items so i thought this would be a fun way of maybe you telling me what i missed because I actually did not pick up anything at this estate sale. There was really nothing that caught my eye. There was a lot of furniture. I actually loved these chairs. Some items were a little pricey, but some of them were not. Um, this specific chair it was very Art Deco. I think it was only $10. It wasn't that bad. But then you'll see like this little patio set was $150. So it was kind of like inconsistent pricing. Um, over here, we see some just like Tupperware. Again, I'm not, I go in specifically looking for clothes. So I think when I, but I love looking through everything. So I feel like I pass up a lot of items just because I'm not that well informed. So if you see anything in this video, feel free and comment down below. What would you have picked up? Um, what, do the prices seem fair? Just let me know. Um, I like picking up barware, so glasses, anything for a bar. I think those are always good sellers. I always look through um, any cases like this that look like records, but I just didn't feel like digging through items. Don't you ever feel sometimes like you're in the mood to go look through everything and then sometimes you're like, I'm not in the mood. Over here, th I found this little elf. I thought it was so cute. It was like a sitting elf. It was made in Japan. It was a dollar, but I don't know. I feel like I would have much rather picked up a bundle, but uh, I don't know. I was just not in the mood today. Again, dishware, glassware, I'm not really familiar with, but if you see anything, please point it out. Comment down below. What would you have picked up? I was excited to go through her closets, but they were pretty empty. I think this was the second day of this estate sale, so it was very picked over. Over here, she had some more items like um, pottery and things like that. I have one in my antique booth and it took forever to move. That's why I didn't pick it up that Katie doll. More glassware, which was kind of strange because this was a bedroom, so I don't know why the glassware was in the bedroom. This room I had like arts and crafts and ribbons. I think it was an office. So she had a lot of cards. Sometimes I do like picking up cards and then I just send them as a thank you card. Um, I like vintage cards. I also like when there's notes inside. <laughs> Is that creepy? I like reading people's old greeting cards. I also just love exploring people's houses. I guess I'm a nosy person. So I like going from room to room and seeing how they decorated, how they maintained their rooms. Here, there were a lot of board games. Again, there's some specific board games that I look for, but I didn't see any here. But did I miss anything? Uh, I was thinking maybe those Monopoly games. But I also just don't like looking and see what's missing. Linens. Okay, when I look at linens, I'm looking specifically for like cartoon linens, for like Disney sheets, things like that. Gift wrap. Um, not really interested in gift wrap, but maybe, I don't know, am I overlooking gift wrap? I mean, I guess if it's a really cool novelty print. And then here we go into the kitchen. I mean, I always look for Pyrex, but that's the most obvious thing that everybody looks for. Glassware and mugs. I mean, I look for novelty mugs. I love novelty, so like cartoon characters. I know that some Starbucks mugs are like highly collectible, but other than that, I mean, I guess maybe if you're buying for yourself. Silver, how do you test for silver? Like, how do you know if this is silver and you can take it and sell it and make money off of that? Let me know down below. This was a really pretty house. It was in a really nice area. Um, kind of like 
Hacienda Heights off of um, Turnbull Canyon. If you're familiar with this area, it's a really nice area, really nice houses. I went back outside. There were a lot of Christmas ornaments and I usually love picking up Christmas ornaments, but two years ago I bought this huge Christmas ornament lot and it took me about two years to get them out of my house. So I'm kind of traumatized with Christmas ornaments. But I mean, that first year they really did sell and I made a pretty good profit. If you can buy them cheap enough, vintage Christmas ornaments are really great. This little box was $2.50, so I think I should have picked it up, but I left it. I always look for Made in Japan for Christmas ornaments. Or Made in USA. And we had more Christmas items. If it's made in China, I usually just leave it, but yeah. That's a good tip is to look for Made in Japan or Made in USA. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.